Yeah. 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 what caught you the majority? Was it blackface or lab scam? David Menzies for the Rebel News here in Ottawa. Well, in about half an hour or so, the first Liberal caucus meeting post-election is going to take place in the building behind me. I'm hopeful to grab a few of those new and uh, returning Liberal MPs to ask them some questions, given that they certainly went out of their way to avoid our questions on the campaign trail. First and foremost, what cost the Justin Trudeau Liberals another majority? Was it lab scam or blackface or both? Um, also, is Western alienation real, especially in Alberta and Saskatchewan, given the feeling of abandonment there? Also, since marching in gay pride parades became something of an issue for Andrew Scheer and the Conservatives, I'm curious if those Liberal MPs who are Muslim consider homosexuality to be haram. Well, in any event, those are some of the questions I have, along with a few others. Let's see if this time around transparency and sunny ways will prevail and these liberals will actually answer these queries. Oh, Mr. Algabra, do you consider homosexuality to be haram? Oh, sir. No. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Blair, how you doing? Just good, sir. Just wondering, why do you not live in the riding that you represent? I live in the city of Toronto and I have served the city of Toronto, including my riding, for over 40 years. But not Scarborough, because it's too crime infested, sir. I, don't, be, don't be silly. Scarborough actually has the lowest crime rate of any part of the city of Toronto, and the city of Toronto is one of the safest cities in the world. Compared to your neighborhood, sir, in Forest Hill. Say, hey, Mr. Levitt, why did you say that the BDS movement is sometimes uh, anti Israel as opposed to always at the debate? Mr. Levitt? Can you comment, sir? Sir, can you tell us what cost the Liberals the majority? Was it lab scam or blackface? Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> no. Sir, can you tell us what cost the Liberals the majority? Was it lab scam or blackface? We're analyzing it. Minister, can you tell us what cost the Liberals the majority? Was it lab scam or blackface? Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, sir, all right. is it lab scam or blackface or maybe a combination of the two? Which door are we going in? Mr. Jahari, why do you support the Iranian mullahs in Iran, sir? <laughs> why did so many high-profile liberals refuse to endorse you? Mr. Jahari, is there any thought as to uh, what cost the liberals a majority? Was it lab scam or blackface? We have a caucus to go to. ma'am, is homosexuality considered haram? Is homosexuality considered haram, ma'am? Hi, Minister. Is homosexuality considered haram? Minister saying, is it? What do you think cost the Liberals a majority this term? Was it blackface or lab scam? <laughs> Mr. Zaveri, how you doing? How come you've had so many anti-Semitic thoughts? So, yeah, Minister, do you think Westerners have any legit grievances that your government won't allow them to bring their oil to market? Minister? Ms. Monsef, how you doing there? Just wondering, is homosexuality considered haram? Ms. Freeland, what caught you the majority? Was it blackface or lab scam? Why do you think this uh, government does not have a majority anymore? Is it because of lab scam or blackface? I don't think it's uh, it's any of those uh, those reasons. Look, the uh, an election's always a uh, uh, a mix of issues. Uh, I think the uh, the Liberal government in the last term did a lot for Canadians right across the country, but I don't think that message got out in the way that it that should have. On many of the doors I knocked on, an awful lot of people didn't know what we had done. Uh, and so I think there's a message there that there has to be communication, better communication in terms of what the governments do. And, uh, and I think the message from Canadians is, look, there's a mix of parties back here now. Uh, every party, every party's platform has some good ideas in it. We're going to, to find a way of bringing those good ideas from all parties together and ensuring that the social and economic fairs of Canada are such that all Canadians benefit in all regions. So I think 
there's the opportunity to compromise and there's the opportunity to uh, make this country greater than the sum of its parts. So when you speak of all the regions, uh, Westerners feel completely alienated to the point that there's actually a separatist movement growing. What would you have to say to those people who are frustrated that they can't bring their product, oil, to market? Well, the first thing I'd say is that, uh, that people need to uh, look at the facts. Uh, and the fact is the uh, government of Canada has bought the Trans Mountain Pipeline to build it to ensure that there is an outlet for oil to the west coast and that there's other options rather than just moving product to the United States of America. So let's start dealing with facts rather than assumptions. That would be a good start. Uh, yes, there's concerns by people in the west. There's also concerns by people in every other region of the country. And that's why I say the mix of parties, the good ideas out of every party's platform, we need to find a way of pulling them together and make the country great for everyone. Well, all the MPs, the returning ones and the new ones, are now ensconced in the building behind me having their first post-election caucus meeting. Love to be a fly on the wall for that one. In the meantime, as you saw, with the exception of Mr. Easter, precious few Liberals had the time of day for us when it came to giving answers to, admittedly, tough questions, but that is their job, or one would think it's their job. Don't know about you folks, I'm still waiting for this transparency and sunny ways to kick in, if ever. For the Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, you appreciate the kind of journalism we bring you here daily at the Rebel News. Well, if you're not already a premium content subscriber, please consider becoming one. Go to premium.rebelnews.com. That's premium.rebelnews.com. Sign up and never miss another Rebel video.